everyone. Hi, guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And welcome to another episode here <laughs> on the channel. Um, yes. What are we going to do today? Hmm. I am going to attempt something that the wonderful, talented, super awesome Fiona Art has done on her channel. Um, I know that she says that Fosia Creations was the person that inspired her. And if you've seen the thumbnail, then you'll know exactly what it is I'm doing. And it's that wonderful puddle pour that you then wreck with a skewer and spin out on a Lazy Deborah to kind of create this Ooh. Dahlia, Dahlia oh, I've kind seen of those. flower. Yeah. Beautiful. And I'm going to go for maybe like a green inspired palette is what oh. I'm thinking. Nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, really interesting technique that I've never tried before using a very different pouring medium. Yeah, nice. What about you, sir? I think I'm going to do a swipe. I'm left over with some of the, I think it was the brass or gold and the gray and the black that he used for the the collaboration that we did with Canella and... Tammy. Tammy, yes. And B.R. Turner Art. B.R. Turner Art. Got it. So it's those, you did the Dutch pour with those colors. I did, I did like the monochromatic mm -hmm. kind of, you know, so, it wasn't actually, but it was, you know, gray, grays, blacks, whites. Yes. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be doing the swipe with those colors today. I love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really like that palette. So I'm glad that you're using it again. Yes. Everyone at home was asking me to do that again bigger, um, but I know you're going to use those to swipe, which I'm yes. really excited about. Hmm. This is going to be really fun. And that point medium that I said I'm going to use, I'm going to explain what it is and how I used it as I get to the table. Very nice. So you're not going to miss anything out there at home. Okay. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. Um, it only takes you a moment to click that subscribe button, to click that bell to get notified whenever we've got a new premiere coming out. Please leave us a really lovely comment if you so feel if you feel so inclined. And sharing is caring. So if you can share this to your social medias for us and help us get to that ten thousand goal. We're about 2,000 people away from Not even. that goal. Yeah, so I'm um, super excited. We're gonna do something very special when we get to 10,000. With your help, we will get there. Um, let's do this. I'm All going right. to suggest that we get to the table and get painting. Let's do it. Let's do it, we'll see you there. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Thank you so much for joining me here. It is Lee at the table. We're gonna do something that I've never tried before. Nothing ventured, nothing gained is my motto. Um, I'm going to try the recent pours that Fiona Art has been doing based upon some inspiration from Fozia Creations. And it's those fabulous multiple puddle pours that you then wreck with a skewer and spin it out on the Lazy Deborah to get this kind of like really funky geometrical kind mm. of flower-ish-esque shape which I absolutely adore because everything geometric to me, as you can see by the tattoos, kind of makes a lot of sense. So that's the way I'm gonna go. I've then made sure that my canvas is absolutely level because I don't really want to mess this one up just from the get-go with having a canvas that isn't even straight. So the canvas is level. I've then got in these lowly Veffy bottles here some really wonderful colors. And what I have is the Milky White by Master's Touch, which I love. And then I've got Mars Black by Liquitex Basics. Thank you, Studio Hubby. Yep. Then I've got Ocean Green by Master's Touch. I love that. I know, it's a beautiful color. And then finally, I've got Phalo Green by Master's Touch. So I'm going to put all the Milky White, the Black, the Ocean Green, the Phalo Green, and then just keep repeating it. So that is my process down. Now, what is this pouring medium? It is not a pouring medium we've ever used before because for the first time ever, some glue has made its appearance on the channel. Yeah. So first you mix a glue to water mix, and that is 60% glue, 40% water to whatever volume that you want. I just happen to do this 500 gram mixture. So I mixed my 500 grams, 60% glue and 40% water. Then I took that mixture and you add, you do that one part, that mixture to one part Floetrol. So I had 500 grams of mixture, then added 500 grams of Floetrol. And I'll flash all this up on the screen and it'll all be in the description box. That is then your pouring medium. 
and I put that pouring medium into a old creamer bottle and then you mix that medium one to two. So one part paint and two parts pouring medium. So for example, if I had two ounces of paint, I then needed four ounces of the pouring medium. I hope that makes sense. We'll link it and this is Fozia Creations. It's actually her pouring recipe. So you can even see that on some of her videos too. I have also got myself here a little bit of white and this is the Liquitex Basics Titanium White that I mixed up because this just helps me kind of create a little bit of a puddle before I start puddling down my colours. So I'm going to be here a little while so there is every likelihood that I am going to speed this part up as I do these puddles on this canvas. Um, I'm going to try and find the middle as closely as I can get it and, um, and then we're going to start puddling out these layers. So, everyone, sit back, enjoy this funky music as I get to pour in this little, hopefully, flower creation. Be untold. The past, it is 
All right, wonderful people. So I've got my flower shape with all my, no, sorry, my puddles. I've got my puddle shape here. Next, I'm gonna wreck it. Now, do I wreck inwards or outwards? Inwards. Inwards. Okay, interesting. All right. thought breakups were pretty you told a lie I let you go started the words that I completed but that was then so long ago I told you then like I say now that we were golden now you're not here you brought us down I told you so Oh, how I wish I didn't care that we were okay That I could just erase, rewind, let it roll Meet me back here next year And I'll be fine by then So I've now created my wonderful, what I hope, like flower-like design. Yeah. Using my skewer, wrecking those wonderful puddles. I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen in the middle here, because it kind of does look a little muddy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Next, I'm gonna just move this out of the way, put the lazy Deborah underneath, because it's going to be spinning time. So let's get this bad boy on here. All right, wonderful people. So, let's spin this out. And I'm not gonna go like too fast, just in case. So I'm gonna take it a little slow, but we're gonna see what happens. Now winter's here in our old city. And I breathe the fresh air and feel good. Back at the spot where you first kissed me I don't feel a thing, although I should I learned my lesson last year And now I'm fine again
All right, ladies and gents, that's me done. Um, wow, I actually really enjoyed this technique. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a little stressful because I'd never done it before, but I really enjoyed it. Um, creating those puddles is really fun, like keeping the consistency of the puddles the same size. Sorry, the the consistent squeezing the same consistency out of the bottles to keep the puddles the same size on your canvas is really key. Um, but I do really love the way this has come out. Clearly, there's like some tighter rings where it wasn't quite so level on the Lazy Susan, and the middle is not as pretty as I would. I love it to be. What I've seen Fosia do is take either like the lighter color or even she uses glitter kind of paint and then kind of dots, dots a dot in the middle to kind of mm. be the center of the flower. Cute. You know, Cute. like a daisy. But um, I don't think I could do that here because I think it's a little skew if. But for my very first attempt at this Fosia flower that I know Fiona does, which is amazing, I'm really happy. So I'm gonna just scrape my edges real quick. I'm gonna torch this one off and then I'll take you in for a close up. Thank you guys. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm so excited about today's uh, pour that I'm doing. Well, I'm actually doing a swipe today. Well, you're not pouring at all. I'm not pouring at all, <laughs> yes. And um, as you can see, I have a canvas here that I repurposed, I gassoed it, and um, I'm gonna be reusing it for today's swipe um, because I'm gonna be flooding this canvas. Right. Yes, so. And, and we had a lot of metallics under there. That's the only reason why you Exactly, did that color, right? exactly, oh. yeah. So the colors that I'm using today are this Neutral Gray by Liquitex Basics. I love that color. This Iridescent Graphite by Liquitex Basics. I love that color. And this, this Deco Art, but it's not 24 karat right. gold, it's brass. Huh. Yeah. But it has a very goldy look to it, but you it actually does. can, now you say it, I can tell it. Yeah, different. yeah. Um, and then I have the uh, Golden's Iridescent Pearl Fine that I'm using to swipe with, it. yes. And also, um, Liquitex Basics uh, Titanium White as my base coat. Love it. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get uh, to uh, pour in my base coat here right. and uh, flood in my canvas. Okay, do it. All right. Okay guys, so I've got my base coat down here, I'm flooded, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gold, and I'm going to do a gold stripe right down the center, gold stripe. and then on the on the other side of that I'm going to go with the, uh, neutral, the, gray. Gray, the neutral gray, and then I'm going to do a stripe on each side of the iridescent Good graphite, right. yes, and then I'm going to swipe with the pearl. Beautiful. So let's oh, get to, oh, oh. let's get to swiping. Go for it. We're layering. Yes.
Okay, so I got all of my, my paint layered down. Why are you laughing, Chuckles? It looks like a mess. You were a little heavy handed there. I know you I was been, very heavy listen, handed with been this in, one. You've been to the gym, like, what is it, six days a week for the last four months. And look at you. You're laying this paint down like you've been picking up I, weights. It's funny. It's like, yeah, I kind of just really threw that paint down I, on I here. don't think you have, actually, because you're going to swipe this with the pearl. So yeah. I, think, I think you'll be surprised. Yeah, well, we're going to see. We're going to try mm. it right now. Right. Okay guys, so I'm loving this. But the only thing is, is that I want to add one more embellishment and I'm going to take some of this, this iridescent graphite and put it right down the center and, um, and embellish it a little bit. Uh, I think it needs something to break up the gold right in the middle there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like a shadow Then maybe I won't have the need to let the All right, you guys, I am done. 
I am loving this piece. Applause I'm so excited. From the crowd. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> the crowd goes wild. Yes. I love it. So, all right, I am done. I'm gonna get my edges and there take you There are no edges, it's a swipe. <laughs> I'm still gonna get my edges just Have you in case. torched it? I have not torched okay, it so yet. Okay, so that's definitely what we should do and take him in for the close up. Absolutely. I love it, well done. I know you're excited about this one, I can see it. I am, it. I am very excited about well this Well done, one. Stu, show pony. So there you have it. <laughs> I don't know why that there you have you it. so much. There you have it. Uh, I'm going to do it intentionally now just to, just to make you laugh, little chuckles. Um, what did you think? I know that through both of those, there was a lot of skipping and you would have heard a lot of music because those, those techniques take a little while. Yeah. So rather than having you there with us the whole way through it, um, we decided to take out some of the boring chit chat. Yeah. Um, but we hope that you still got to see the technique with the Dahlia flower. It's very much about that pouring medium because the glue in the medium is what helps keep the integrity of those rings, especially when you wreck it. Yes. So that's very important. And Jeremy was swiping with pearl white. Yes. And that's what helps create the cells, the lacing, and those really beautiful kind of that composition on the swipe. So I loved it. Please, sir, show everyone at home the result of your wonderful swipe. I would love to. I love it. It's so awesome. So, um, really, I don't, I don't like using the word ethereal because we use it all the time. So it's not ethereal, but it's just very soft. It is soft. But luxurious. I think it's that gold and the pearl. Yeah. I love the, the way that you layered the graphite and the, and the black in such thick bands, but yet it didn't come out super dark. It reminds me actually of like a lake, like in the fall, and this is the reflection of some of the trees mm. and the golden, you know, when the leaves turn. Okay. And yeah, and then this is the, like the, the line of the land and then the trees and stuff. I see a mermaid sitting on a leaf <laughs> drinking from a cup. Stop. I don't really. I didn't see that really. But I'm sure someone at home may well have done. Um, we love it when you see things in our paintings because we don't always, because sometimes we're looking at it in the opposite direction mm. that you are, you know, because mm. we're standing over it in the table and you're seeing it from this angle. But it's really fun when you show us the things you see in the paintings. Well, let's see yours. Here we go. Let me show it. Um, this Ugh. is my flower. I love these crazy 3D effects that you get with this technique. It's kind of like something you would see on the Twilight Zone. If I was to spin it like this and hypnotize you all, I'd be saying, <laughs> please like and subscribe to the channel. Stare into my Dahlia. You're feeling very sleepy. Um, yeah, I, I love it. It was so much fun. I can't wait to try this again with different colors. Clearly, this part here needs a little bit of work. I did speak to Fiona about it, and she said you need the Fiona touch, which is dabbing in the middle before you start to spin it out, which I forgot to do. Mm. Um, so um, yeah, this is still some more playing, some learning. I will create a beautiful and perfect Dahlia kind of flower on this channel very soon, because I'm gonna keep doing it. It's beautiful, I Thank love you. that. You know, I like my geometrics. Some of my tattoos have got kind of some yeah. kind of geometric kind of fashion. And whilst this is not geometric, I do love the patterns within it. I, I just love it. It was so much fun. Well, I think it's gorgeous. Thank you, sir. I think You're very welcome, sir. I think it's gorgeous. Too. You're very welcome, sir. Uh, all right, people. So it was just a really fun episode today. Um, we both really enjoyed what the, yes. the how the pieces came out. Yes. We really love the outcomes of these two. Yes. We've got some more fun pours coming up. Um, we will be with you on Sunday for another premiere. Um, I know that there are some people that are going to be joining us in our little premiere train mm. on Sunday. So please keep an eye out for that. We'll let you know what yeah. time it's going to be very soon. And, um, and then there's some more fun pause coming up next week because we yeah. caught ourselves up and we're a little ahead now. Which is nice. So we know what's coming up for you all. 
It's starting to rain, sir. <laughs> it's starting to rain. We better get this camera out <laughs> of the rain. So, please, thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for being with us on the chat if you are. And we'll see you on Sunday for the very next episode. See you Sunday, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> <laughs> we want to spank some very special people. <laughs> <laughs> We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finza. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much. <laughs>